Cool. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next question of the day, which actually relates to uh, to work again. Um, so on YouTube, we had Deng Shri Pawaskar, which says, hey, can you make a video from coming to Taranga, like the part-time job, cost of living, backpackers, etc." Taranga. All right. Everybody wants to go to Taranga. Yeah, yeah. Taranga is a popular town at the moment. It's quite yeah. crazy. All right. Uh, so, um, in Taranga, job wise, plenty of jobs available retail job, hospitality job, picking job. There is plenty. Yeah. Now, when we say retail job, it includes quite a lot of different jobs. It includes um, everything from like being a sense attendant, being a cashier, being a stock filler, uh, filling up the shelf in the supermarket, but also warehouse, delivery, mm. all those kind of work, packing, uh, order processing. There is a lot that goes into retail. When we say retail, there is a wide range of jobs. And every time you see one store person in your store, you know there is at least four people working behind the scene that you don't see. Yeah. So that makes it for plentiful, um, plenty of jobs available in Rotorua, especially in the retail industry. Now, in the hospitality industry, Rotorua, uh, sorry, um, uh, Toranga, we're talking about Toranga here. Yeah. Um, in the hospitality industry, Toranga is actually quite a hot spot. It's, um, it has heaps, uh, a lot of cafe, restaurant, hotel, because it's such a popular area. Um, it's it's one of the best spots for Kiwis to go on holidays. They all go there, mm. especially in the area called the Mount Manganui or the Mount. Um, they all go for summer holiday there and all those kind of things. So plenty of job for that. But another fun fact about Turanga is that it's one of the towns where there is also the cruise ship coming in New Zealand. So because they are cruise ship, when they are cruise day, they need a lot more workers. So for this reason, there is plenty of um, plenty of uh, jobs. jobs in yeah. the hospital industry available. And finally, about the picking industry, well, Turanga is in the uh, golden kiwi country. Yes. Um, you know, <laughs> this is where all the kiwi fruits are grown, or even where most of the stone fruits are grown as well. So there is plenty of jobs available uh, in that, and there is plenty of hostels that actually even place you in jobs which is quite uh, yeah. quite amazing uh, yeah and there's also a, quite a shortage of pickers every single year yeah. to do these jobs which are temporary so that's ideal if you're doing a working holiday or just something temporary if you're maybe a student um, and yeah those jobs are very easy to get and even perhaps if your English isn't up to scratch and you want to you know do something a little bit more behind the scenes rather than working with customers then picking is actually a really awesome job to do and it's not only picking there's also lots of factories which you know process the kiwi fruit and um, around around the Taranga area so there's a really a huge industry surrounding just kiwi fruit alone so yeah, yeah there's a lot of job opportunities around Taranga for that now for the cost of living uh, do you want to talk about the cost of living uh, yeah I can just do a quick few things yeah. and then you take it away after but yeah cost, cost of living you are in a city uh, obviously Taranga is quite a large city and in New Zealand large cities do have quite a high cost of living when it comes to rent and um, so if you are wanting to save a bit of money on that the best thing to do is either do a house share or a flat share which is basically renting a room with other people and um, alternatively there are quite a lot of hostels which take in long termers and they also help you find a job. I'm thinking of hospitals like uh, South Pacific Lodge, which is based in Mount Monganui. There's also the Harbour, what's it called? The Harbour Side, Sa Harbour Side Backpackers, which is also based pretty much in the city centre of Taranga. And those guys can actually help you find a job um, and they, they set you up in one of their bunk rooms and that's another way to save money basically on cost of living in and terms of rent. Of yeah, and meet a lot of people as well. And you know, the people that you meet in these hostels, you might be able to get together and maybe go and do a house share or something like that's a really good place to start is with the working hostels in Toranga and for more information on working hostels we'll make sure we'll do a link to an article which tells you all about those hostels in the description below um, so yeah but also for, for the cost of like food and drinks yeah. supermarkets there is an advantage obviously living in a city is that there's usually <coughs> a lot more choice so there's usually a lot more competition and the prices the prices are usually a little little better than elsewhere in New Zealand. You, 
For instance, if you're staying in a small town in New Zealand, you only have one supermarket to choose from. That's usually when the prices of fruit and, you know, fruit, vegetables and all the food and all that sort of stuff, that's usually when it's a lot higher. But in the cities, this is where you can you can save a bit of money on um, food, especially if you're working in the kiwi fruit industry, because you can yeah. always come home with some kiwi. Nice. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Um, so. The good thing about Turangado and the thing that we like the most about Turangado is that it's a great hub for exploring the North Island. So yes, you're probably going to be studying, working in Turangado, but you're in New Zealand, you're in a different country, you want to explore, right? And Turangado is placed almost, uh, can we show where Turangado is? Yeah, sure. Um, so Turangado is around here, right here, right? So if you guys don't see it, it's just right there. So it's a great place to be able to explore most of the North Island within a, a bit of a drive. Because yeah. if you were to go from Toranga to about here, which would be Topo, that would be only about two hour drive, not even actually, a bit less than two hour drive. Yeah. So how cool is that? That means that you can explore most of the North Island um, uh, very easily, especially if you have your own transport. But if you don't, there are amazing bus connections with uh, Intercity, for example, or even a new company called Skip Bus. Yeah. So, this will be your best option for um, for 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 basing yourself and starting to work. It's yeah, it's one of the best options. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I do really like uh, I do really like Turanga for that. Uh, plus the fact that there are so many working hostels. I know you touched yeah. on, a little bit on it, but it is probably the one place in the country which has the most working hostel. So there is really no excuse. If you want to work, you go to Turanga, you check into one of those hostels. Again, they don't charge you anything. You just pay for your night and. Trust us, we've compared the price many times because we did doubt it a lot. They're very much on par with the rest of the hostel around the country. The price is not higher, so they will find your job. They'll organize transportation and all of that, so it makes it very easy. So Taranga, uh, cost of living wise, you know, living lifestyle wise and everything is really awesome. Yeah. And there are some suburbs which are a bit more posh than others, obviously. So if you live in Mount Manganui, for example, uh, everything is a little bit more expensive than if you live in, you know, the, the town itself. But it's such a great place. Place. Um, and it, even like the greater area, if you think about the other place like Tepuke, which is uh, it's not Taranga at all, it's another town, but it's it's still nearby. You know, that's the kiwi food capital of New Zealand, so there's plenty of jumps here as well. And there's lots of beaches nearby, so yeah. if you're into that whole beach lifestyle exactly, thing, then yeah. yeah, that whole area, that whole coast around there, that has loads of different beaches to choose from. So, exactly. You yeah. want to grab your bottle of wine and go watch the sunset on the beach? You can yeah. definitely do that every evening. And honestly, if you stay there for an entire season. Uh, you could almost watch the sunset on a different beach every day, which uh, would be quite a cool challenge. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I'd take that challenge. I think so, it'd be yeah. quite tiring after a while. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's basically our take for Taranga. If you're considering Taranga for work or for play, uh, maybe, well, you know, think again and uh, be like, yeah, Taranga is actually the right thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a really good place to, to, go, to go there. Uh, Alright. Um, if you do have any follow-up questions, in the comment below. If you do want to learn more about Turanga, in the description below we've got a few links. 